All right, people, welcome back. More League. So, Yay. this is season one, week three, match two. What and do we have? It is versus the Yumi Utopians, or Pops, or Paolo, who has his de three decks are Necros, Volcanics, or Light Swans, who has zero points so far, versus the Kyber White Dragons, which is Ryan, whose three decks are Cleapot, Infernoid, or Const uh, Constellas, which are two points. She has two points so far. They're both in the YCS division, so it's a divisional match. Okay. That's the I big... almost said cunt stellas. Damn. I mean, <laughs> and I'm not the biggest fan of Pleiades either. <laughs> I was like, cunt uh, con I mean, con stellas. Yes, that one. Yes. <laughs> cunt stellas. So, uh, you can cut it all. Now we definitely know, but from the yeah, title, Light you guys. Spawns can... versus. Yes. Versus... Is it Stella? Is it Kun No, it's Cleese. You know Cleese right before you go. Oh, damn. Yes, yeah, so... What, that Cleese... beast? Oh, yeah. The, yeah they uh, he has they Fire Fist. That, they... <laughs> I thought <laughs> Stu had Fire Fist. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just some of that Photon Trash. You're like, okay, I guess. So, I, I, meant, I, I meant to mention this in the last video, but I uh, remember that I mentioned it in this video. So, as you can clearly see, uh, there's no of uh, that repetitive intro shit in every video. I decided to go ahead and create that as a separate video each week. So, if you want to watch it and have me update you, or I'm thinking about maybe having Stanley do it too. Having one of us one of to uh, update you on the previous week and this upcoming week, uh, then there you go. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's not doing anything. Nope. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, you, I'm like, wait, who's 19? <laughs> you can't attack with the Thrasher, so... I don't know why you summon that Thrasher. Unless you're planning on exceeding with it. I don't know. Maybe main phase to exceed with it, and he's just gonna grab another tanky and then go... Wolf Bark or something? I don't know. Running Wolf Bark, you know? I mean, hell, and Consolas, I didn't think they were in Photon Thrasher. I don't know either. I didn't think you were in Photon Thrasher either. And of course, the, the do rank. Do your thing, Ryan. Yeah, do your thing, Ryan. I mean, the rank four engine is really uh, go, respondent, and not a lot of uh, enablers. Mm. I mean, I can't I really can't even think of an enabler you can possibly go into right now. Dragon uh, Zero. Well, no, that's a responder. <laughs> Say Ragnar uh. Zero versus Lightthorn? Like really? <laughs> well, you're gonna fuck up, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, I see you more than light swords. Raiden's, fuck Raiden's you a up. warrior, so you can't even fuck up Raiden. Well, I don't know, do you know, because he can gain like, attack, yeah. He can gain attack. <laughs> but, yeah. So, also, so if you guys want to know, because this has been driving me up the wall, just people keep co constantly, like, in, in the Skype chat, asking, what's the standing? What's the standings? The link is in the description. Just go to any video. Link is in the description. Ooh! Ooh, that JD already. Damn, get white. Summon is good. A thousand fingers chain is good. How do I know it's fingers <laughs> chain? <laughs> that was obvious. Yeah. Oh! No! The wall, <laughs> How do you not mill any of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the light swarm gods are on his side. Please have another one, nope. <laughs> and, the, and the crazy thing is that even if he had another fingers chain, he could just XC those two into like a fell grand. <laughs> so he's still... Oh yeah, my god, and you go and send more days. tankies. Ryan. <laughs> well, there goes Why all three tankies. Why are you this, Ryan? Like, oh, well, I have one tankie set. I bet he'll never guess it. I'll set a second Aha. tankie. Aha! <laughs> Even though I'm going against Lightstorm. Why don't you fuck about Macro? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that is a nice chunk of damage right there. Uh oh. Uh oh, fuck. Uh oh, oh, oh fuck. No. That is game. That game. is game. That is that's game. Not, that, that's game. Nah, yeah, that's game. <laughs> <laughs> that is game. Oh my god. That's, wow. That's the, uh, OTK. That's, 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 you got get your right. ass woke. Get your <laughs> ass woke. <laughs> Pops ain't having no more of this shit. He's like, hell no. This is a divisional map. Let's do that. Go ahead and do the countdown again. All right. Three, two, one. Start. All right, people. Sorry for the jump there. Apologize. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, Basically, good. what happened was I have my uh, microphone on a, a like little fold-up arm extension thing that clips onto my uh, desk with my PC tower on it. 
because uh, I don't have room on my desk for like the little stand that comes from my blue snowball. So I ex I realised at game one it wasn't I hadn't pulled like the thing out to extend it so it was closer to me. So I was like, oh shit, I'll do that. And then when I did that, the cable at the back of the snowball came undone. But I always have my webcam plugged in. So it decided in Skype to switch the fucking mic from my snowball, because I was still in an active call, to my webcam one, which sounded like shit. And I had to find that, unplug it, and then uh, I had to restart the computer. It was just a fucking mess. And we already ha I had to cut that out. I'm not going to damage your ears with a terrible webcam mic again. <laughs> I've already done it once this season. We're not doing it again. Yep. <laughs> So we are back. So after that ass whooping that Pops gave to Ryan here, of course, you know that's I, I, I don't like light swords. I really don't. They're too lucky. They can just jump out the bushes and stab, stab you. Like that. Yeah, that deck is way too luck based to be able to do plays like that. It's like what the fuck? Like okay, you know that deck could be shaky and, and be absolute ass and be nothing and then just you know mill all its shit. But then at other times it could literally just slap the shit out of you. It's happened to my local. It did. It really did. Oh, did you get you, the shit slapped out? Yeah, yeah, one duel. It was uh, it was when I won with my tower turbo. I think it was round two. A duel against light swans, and he literally like he like dropped JD, wiped me, monster reincarnation, dropped JD, dropped Michael. It's like that's game. I'm like damn. <laughs> it's like motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's just that JD. JD not deck. Yeah. I know a couple of you guys were talking about, you know, why the hell is this deck, this deck tier, uh, what deck is this? This is tier three, right? Yeah. Because yeah. we forgot about it, you know. Yeah, um, pretty much. That's, for the most of the decks, are like, oh, yeah, why can't you use this, like, really powerful deck? And tier three, like, uh, because we forgot, because we're dumb. Yep, because we forgot, because we're dumb. But don't worry, people. Uh, next season, uh, probably we're going to move this deck up to tier two and possibly allow it to use um, the other cards, you know, the OCD cards, like, the 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 searcher card and Minerva and stuff like that. Because right now he doesn't have access to that trap card nor Minerva. Ooh! Ooh! Damn. <laughs> Damn. Elise <laughs> T-King. Fucking get wrecked. <laughs> get wrecked. What the hell with T-King? T-King is like the MVP of this fucking league. <laughs> he just jumps out the <laughs> bushes and slaps his shit at everybody. <laughs> And for someone with no arms, that's impressive. Yeah, someone with no arms is happening to everybody. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, impressive when you can the shit out of people. Please bounce again? I'd say you might as well bounce him. He can't do shit until he fucking mills, and he hasn't milled shit, so I think that's it. Wow. So Ryan slaps the shit out of Pops. Like, no, nah, <laughs> let's run that game, back. That's pretty much this match in a nutshell. Game one. Bam, 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 bam. Game two. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. What's game three gonna be like? Bam, I know. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> they're fighting for that one point. Because <laughs> they're both These people are going bam, bam, in more than fucking bam, bam out the Flintstones. Yeah. Bam, bam, boom. <laughs> and it'll be interesting to see how well Constellar does this season. Well, I, 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 like I said, I'd still say that they're a tier three deck. I mean, they especially they two for a while, but they kind of like the falling out of favor. I was thinking that was going to be Gores. Power speed, really. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop the Gores. I thought that was going to be Gores. It was Gores time. Wow, and he'd rather just go ahead and crash. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Pops. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So while they are siding, I'm going to go ahead and pause. Bear back. Alright, people, we are back. So, sl Pops slaps the shit out of Ryan, round one. Ryan slaps the shit out of Pops, round two. So, who is gonna get bit smacked this time? <laughs> <laughs> they are fighting for that one point. Like I said, uh, it's just, there's so much destruction in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Uh, if you guys don't know, I used to play Constellers. Constellers used to be my shit, but I haven't really picked up that deck since because there's just so much destruction in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just like, man. And recently, oh. Compulse isn't that good. So if Compulse isn't that good, Polidi really isn't that good. Exactly. So, <laughs> so like, oh, yeah, I'm using Constellers. It's going against Necro. It's like, oh, yeah. Well, uh, summon Trish. Please bounce, bounce, back to hand. bounce back to hand. Still get effect. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, oh, summon it again. You banish the shit. Okay, I'm holding your shit out of here. <laughs> so, so, definitely no. So, uh, 
it'll, like I said, it'll be interesting to see where this deck sits. Uh, for as of right now, it doesn't seem like we're gonna have to move it up to tier two next season. But I would definitely give it. It is a pretty powerful tier three deck comparison in comparison to the other tier three decks. But I just don't see it in comparison to you know all the other tiers. If I say in comparison one more fucking time, I swear to God. <laughs> in, in comparison, in comparison, in comparison, comparison to the in comparison. comparison. In comparison, in comparison uh, to the in comparison, I in comparison, you're in comparison because I'm in comparison. You're. In comparison. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, throw it at him. He said, "Nah, fuck that bitch." Fuck your Pelides. <laughs> yeah, fuck your Pelides, bitch. Ain't nobody got time for that. Why is he's a good card? I don't care what people are saying. He's still a pretty good card. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that when you look at people like, say that. People say Maxi is good, but I, I mean, out of Maxi or Vela, I mean, Vela is nice, but I Maxi or Vela, I'd say Maxi because you get a card, but the problem with Maxi, it doesn't stop them. Yeah, yeah. It just, it's like, well, if you want to, yeah. then go ahead, I'm going to draw all these extra cards, but it doesn't, like, stop them, where Flying C just says, no, fuck you. <laughs> oh, Flying C, bitch. I'd say the problem with Flying C is the, is the, is the, Great division of the three kings, the, the three top decks of the division. Mm -hmm. Only there's, one of them. There's so yeah, the only one of them hurts. Like I said, that's I think well, that's actually, what's interesting. Technically, two if you count burning a base and tellers. Tellers aren't one of the three kings. Oh all right, no. I mean, like <laughs> it, we're talking about the top five decks. Right? I'm talking about the top three decks. All right. The three kings. Mm -hmm. like I said tellers. I'm, I'm putting uh, in my rankings. I'm putting tellers down at one point five, because they just haven't been doing as well as late. You know, Shadal's burning a. I mean, Shadal's, Satellers, and Ritual Beast. Those, those are one point five. So they can they can take the three kings, but generally no. <laughs> yeah, the three kings, which are definitely weird that they're so diverse, is definitely burning abyss, Necros, and Cleaves. Yeah, which is just weird because you, generally you would think that you know the top the top decks would be you know more closely associated with each other. No, no, the three kings are like completely opposites of all three of each other. One wins through floatiness, one wins through, through consistency, and the other one wins through... It's like, it's like Pokemon. Uh, floods. It's like <laughs> by Pokemon. gates. Yep. It's like Pokemon. One's water, one's fire, one's earth. Yep. <laughs> they all fuck each other. <laughs> and then Pikachu just sits back there watching them all get up. I mean, it's like, oh yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think they kind of all fuck e each other. That's interesting. They do. Burning yeah. Abyss have a good clean matchup. Cleaves yeah. have a good Necros matchup. And, and Necros. Necros have a good Burning Abyss matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? It's like Pokemon. Fire, water, and grass. Like, three starters. The three kings. That's what they are. Yeah. Well, yeah. that... Hey, wait. Alright. So that, that means that, like, Klee are Charmander. <laughs> Necro is a Squirtle. Actually, I guess Burning Abyss would be Charmander. <laughs> Charmander. <laughs> Burning Abyss is Charmander. Necro is a Squirtle. And Klee's are Bulbasaur's. Yep. <laughs> so he's just gonna go ahead and just crash the 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 I forgot what it's called. <laughs> the what's it card? That card, yeah. The card, yeah. The what's it card? The card, the thing you fucked him up in the butt and he couldn't do. What's the, the what's the name of that card? I forgot. <laughs> Flying C. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and then Max. <laughs> okay. All the C's. So I guess he's like, I'm at least gonna even out. Either I'm gonna nag or even out. The choice is yours. So, is it worth going into that Pleiades? Yep, he's gonna go ahead and boost a 5, go into that Pleiades. He's like, yeah, I'll let you go ahead and draw a card, I'll let you even out, but I'm gonna drop JD. that Pleiades on you. <laughs> <laughs> JD! <laughs> no! What the suck? Who can't even check the graveyard right now? I have no idea how <laughs> the graveyard. Or well, even if we weren't doing this post con, we couldn't check the fucking graveyard. Yeah, we couldn't check the, the graveyard. End, the end's just like, nope, you can check the graveyard watch, because you might tell the duelists something that they can check anyway. How dare you? Like, what? No, a lot of you people are suggesting we do this on, like, Dev Pro slash Wadjo Pro. I, I don't think I've ever been a watcher on Dev Pro. Oh, I, I have, know. but it just goes really. Really quick. fast? <laughs> it, go, it, goes, it goes fast, faster than DN anyway, and the thing is as well, the timer, that you can't disable that, and that would fuck you up. Yeah, that would fuck you up. Because I'll oh, think about it, oh, I've got to think about what to do, this play I can do, oh, timer, right, skip your turn, like. Yeah, like, what the fuck, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this ain't no tournament, you're not going to go into time. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to take as long as they need to take. 
This is like this is like top, top eight, <laughs> top eight. Yes, but yeah, but yeah, what I would do if I was in the tournament, what I'd do, right? Oh, I need to think of this play. Hang on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make myself a fucking cappuccino. I'm gonna go to Starbucks, get a cappuccino, and come back. <laughs> and then ponder on my move. What? You said there's no time limit. Mm. <laughs> then, just, then just be slurping and typing chat. You know, this uh, this mocha soy latte is very nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Asterisk slurp. Asterisk. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Fucking pops. Mm. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> pops nose. Pops, pops nose of the cut of the Starbucks. Nose of the plan. <laughs> pops is thinking. Oh. Pops is having an epiphany. Oh, like I said, can pops come through? Or will it be the power of please? He's locking it down too strong. Say it if you if you got you gotta go fast. Special summoner JD. Special summoner JD. Oh my god, that's what I was thinking. Like this matchup, like what the fuck does Pleiades do against JD? Oh no, just drop JD. Okay, Pleiades bounce. Drop, drop JD. JD. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, no. Yeah. So I mean, pops I, can I, drop. Even JD. if I were even if I were Ryan and pops drop JD and I had Pleiades, I'd still bounce the fucking JD just to be annoying. He <laughs> could be like. Oh, well, that was my You know what? Man. I wouldn't do that. Drop the JD again. If he dropped the JD, I would play these bounce to my Algaidi. Mm. So you can do plays with it next time. Like, if you draw, if he has a level 4 monster or if he draws into one, you can go Algaidi summon and make like a 1 1 and take the JD at least. Because yeah. he's not going to die by 1 JD, clearly. He still has 72. But that's, I don't think Pops has the JD. I mean, look how long he's thinking. You wouldn't be checking the extra deck. Oh, oh, troll charge. Troll charge. Uh oh. Maybe he's trying to bait. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I think that now you're trying to bait. He's going to go ahead and pay 2,000, summon two monsters, go into like a 1 1 or Castell, make the Pleiades bounce, and then, you know, possibly have something in his hand to go ahead and uh, fuck the Pleiades off and come back into this duel. Well, at least now with the Soul Charge, it means that he hasn't got uh, enough life points for JD, so. Nope, no more JD. JD's, JD's only a beater now. Yep, yeah, only a 3,000 beater, so no more wiping. <laughs> no you more butt wipes. You can't even butt wipe once. He's nope, gonna have nope, swamp ass nope. for the rest of the door. What? Hello? <laughs> I, I cannot spread his butt anymore. <laughs> what? Alright, Pops. Gonna go ahead and see those two and two. Minerva? Oh, I know. He doesn't have Minerva. <laughs> Minerva. I'm disqualified. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He did not have Minerva. This was this was planned way before Minerva became a licensed prize card, and of course we said no uh, OCG on this deck. So, so that would definitely be cheating. If you summon Minerva, we'd have to check the decks right now. He would get disqualified immediately because <laughs> mm -hmm. we have every single deck on tap, people. Every single deck. So, <laughs> oh, oh, I got the ass. Get wrecked. Wait. Oh, cause maybe because he didn't have another he dark. Because he used bounce on the custom. No, I'm saying when he just, you know, summon BLS and then Pleiades bounce. Ah. And then summon BLS again, but I'm assuming he only has one dark, so. So, uh, Ryan, do you have a level 4? You have a level 4 and go into Cowboy game. 101, mm -hmm. Castell, whatever. All you need is a level... Oh, there we go, that's game. <laughs> you got that, Valor? You got that, Valor Pops, or is that it? Yeah, nope. Right. GG. That is it, people. So, ha! Ah, unfortunately, Pop still with zero points. Yep. And and isn't Kyle still had zero points as well? Uh, yep. I think so. I am. Wait. You mean who, Kyle Ryan? You mean? No. No. Who who has zero points in the lower division? Uh, hang on. Let me find it. It's Pop's is Yugi Dark Magicians. Isn't it like the Yuma Utopian uh, or something? I, I'm getting my teams mixed Pop, up. You tell Pops me. Has, Pops has zero points, and Kyle, yeah, also has zero points. Um, and they and do and they, do they still have zero points? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we still got four more. We weeks. haven't seen Kyle's duel for this week, so we don't know okay. about Pops. Okay. Pops still has zero, zero points. points. Busted, yeah. All right. So that's Ryan with another point. So Ryan has three points. Three points now. Yep. So he is tied. First, along with uh, Mao and along with Omega Chaos. Wow. But uh, Mao and Ryan are in the same division, right? Yep. 
Oh, so they're fighting for that top seat. Of course, if you guys do not know how it works for the playoffs, is top seat gets the bye week. It's as simple as that. And if the, in the end, if they have the same amount of points in the end, it will literally go to whoever won in the duel between them two. Because, of course, they're going to duel each other. Everybody duels everybody. So whoever, if they have the same amount of points in the end as the end of the regular season, whoever won that duel between the two will get the top seat. Top seat gets bye week. So, and, of course, bottom gets dropped out. But, you know. Get Pops. nothing. You lose. Pops, Pops, day, you, sir. you got four more weeks, sir. Four more weeks. You got to end the points. You, know, you got to get back into it. At least make it up to third. using some tier two and tier three now. Damn, damn that sucks. <laughs> Getting so, up right now, yeah. There we go. There is another episode of the league. So this is season one, week three, match two. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these two episodes today. Come back tomorrow for two more uh, matches, three and four, for week three. And then, of course, we'll be back next week with week four. So thank you, co-host Stanzi, for joining me. No problem. Link in the description. Go ahead and go to his channel. Check out his content. And uh, also, everybody else's channel, whoever is participating in the league, link is also in the description. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we will see you guys tomorrow with some more league. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.